let's go to obstacle number three. Okay, if I was to create a course, a masterclass or an ebook, is it okay that I put my learnings and strategies from other gurus into my content? If I were to teach something similar, wouldn't my audience notice that I quote unquote copycat someone else's idea? In other words, no originality. Okay, I wanna bring out a few key things here, okay? The first part is that how to overcome this. So the fact is that, right, you don't have to copy someone, but you can borrow their idea or their concept. So for instance, right, let's say you are following my stuff, right? And let's say I, I'm just gonna teach you how you can do it the right way and also to make money in, in the process. It doesn't have to be me, but I'm just giving you an example. So for instance, right, let's say you are building your list with the messenger bot, right? And you're teaching that and you're telling them that, hey, you know, you have to create your book. Uh, why is because this is what you learn. I mean, let's say I'm more. This is what I've learned from my mentor, Patrick, and he taught this in his program called the CB Super Affiliate. Okay, so that's one point. So now, when you say that, right, then you're not really copycat. You are sharing resource and you are doing the right thing, right? You're not. You're not. I mean, there are people who like steal stuff, steal people's idea and claim it theirs, and they just shoot themselves on their foot because they wouldn't know how to answer when someone asks them question because they just copy someone else's stuff, right? If you do the right thing and you say, hey, this is from this way I've learned, and then you have your own point of view and that's okay, you see? But more powerfully is that when you recommend or you say, hey, I learned from here, guess what? You are actually linking with your affiliate link. So let's say I have a affiliate program for CB Super Affiliate Training, right? Which means now when you tell them, you're not going to send them to my website just like that. You actually send them through your affiliate link and that's where you're going to make additional affiliate commissions if they check it out. So after all, your goal is to generate affiliate commissions to, to make some money at this moment of time. So there's absolutely uh, nothing wrong with that. Now, just so you know, even big time gurus, like very successful gurus do that right and these are the enlightened gurus you know a lot of people don't do that because they are like worried that people know the source okay so just to give you another classic example like um kairish who is on this training he he said he shared with me that you know he he learned about me because his mentor uh jamal right talk about me in this book why would he because jama is, is so successful and it is fine to let people know where he learned from and things like that there's there's nothing wrong with doing that right and that actually enhances your own brand and helps you to become a better person and build your relationship stronger so for instance now i have my respect for jama because he does that so now i will say good words about him because he doesn't hide now, there's just one example. Like, for instance, if you if you follow Russell Brunson, who is a friend of mine who owns ClickFunnels, in his training from time to time, he will say who he learned from. Like, for instance, he talked about John Rees, uh, which is also a, a fellow friend of ours who owns Traffic Secrets, right? So he talked about John Rees was the first person who made the first 1 million in 24 hours in our internet marketing niche. So he talked about that many times. But it's good that he talks about that because he is also promoting traffic secrets. And he said, hey, you know, that's what that's where he gets his inspiration from. And he expands from there. Um, then when he teach about uh, speaking, he say he also mentioned that, you know, he learns from several other speakers. He learns from uh, Ted Thomas. He learns from... Uh, John Childers, he learns from Armand Maureen and a few more other names. And it's okay to say that, right? Because, for instance, when he talk about the concept of stacking the offer in his speaker training program, he mentioned that, hey, he picks this up from Armand Maureen, right? It is fine because that is the truth. And then he will share his own version. But people don't see him anything less. But he just say, hey, this guy is great because he knows how it works and now he's just sharing his, his own opinion, his own approach, right? And of course, if you want to know the originality of how the, the whole stacking of offer works, you know, you can just go and learn from Armand Maureen and that's fine, right? 
and that is by doing the right way, the right thing, so that you know when you sleep at night, you know you have peace of mind and you won't have any problem at all, right? So let me just go through again um, the the part here, right? About no originality, right? So originality will remains if you add in your own case study, your own results, and so on. No, because you're not being a parrot, you're not learning here and saying here. You're going to interject with your own case studies, with your own concept, with your own ideas and so on.